Thousands of children in England are taught at home rather than school. Exactly how many isn't known because they don't have to be registered, but that could be about to change. A report out today is expected to recommend that all parents who educate their children at home should be registered and regularly inspected. Well, Anne Newstead is from the charity Education Otherwise. She teaches her children at home, including her son Joshua, who, as you can see, is here with her. And Tony Mooney is a home education inspector. Well, good morning to all of you. Thank morning. you for coming morning. in. So the, in terms of the key recommendations that were expected to be announced, uh, we'll ask you first of all, Tony, then, is that all home educated children must be registered with the local authority, more support for special need children being home educated so they can access services normally provided through school, and more support for you for the home um, for the home uh, education inspectors. So does that sound like a good thing to you? Is that what's, is what's needed? I'm glad to hear that because at the, at the moment the law does not allow me even to see the child if the parents don't want me to see the child. I've got no right to go to the home. Um, what I have to do if the parents dig their heels in is ask for a synopsis of what has been done and also um, a synopsis of what is going to be done. Um, and then I can ask for work that has been done by the child to see what it looks like. It's so really difficult to assess exactly what's going on in the home. Very much so. Mm. Yeah. I mean, and schools, normal schools, are, are regularly in, inspected to make sure that standards are maintained. Yes. It makes sense, surely, for that to happen with children who are educated well, at No, home. because mm. it's a completely different situation. As a parent, I'm responsible in law for educating my children. That's what the wording of the Education Act says. I can choose to delegate that responsibility to schools. And then the school needs to be able to evidence to me, the parent, that they're providing a suitable education to my child, which is the whole point of parents' evenings. They have to be able to evidence to Ofsted that they're carrying out their statutory duty. Now, as a parent, when I'm taking direct responsibility for his education, I don't have to evidence to myself that his education is suitable. I, can, I if, am taking direct... I'm, and I'm sure you educate your children brilliantly, but what if a, a child was not being educated at all was being by kept their parents? Home, perhaps either a victim of abuse or actually because the parent just thought that they might like to let them have time off for whatever reason. Well, how do you define what a suitable education is? You're, I mean, you said, oh, it's quite a throwaway comment, but oh, you're obviously educating yours well. On what basis? Mine don't do any written formal work at all. So we're autonomous educators, which means that the children lead their education and are responsible for their education, and they can choose what it is that they, that they actually want to study. Um, so I'm always told that my children are very articulate and they're obviously doing a good job. And I said, well, yes, but if I had to evidence to you that education, if you wanted to see paper-based work, I couldn't s show it to you. But why should you not... Though. I mean, why not just be part of the system? What, what would the big problem be? I mean, if you want Joshua, and we'll come to you in a minute, Joshua, I'd just like to ask you what sort of work you are doing. But if you want Joshua to sort of the end of the great wide world and actually sort of be part of the community, surely you, there would have to be some evidence there that he's, he's well qualified to do well, that. Well, he's already doing that. He is already part of the, the world. When we talk about children leaving school and going off into the real world, so we're, by that statement, we're showing that the real world is not school. He's in the community all the time. We're, we take part in community events. We're out and about. We're seen. Um, we're part of a local group. He's, he's engaged in these activities all the time. Tony? One of the big problems is that parents are worried that inspectors are coming in and are going to say education should be like this. Um, that's not the case. As an advisor, I go in... And the great majority of my parents are looking for advice. And I advise them how they could go about teaching in a certain way if they want that. We don't force it. We don't force a pattern on, on parents on how to educate their children. And I think anybody who's educating their child does not need to worry if we've got that kind of approach. Sadly, that's not the case. It's down to individuals. It may be that one particular person that you deal with from the local authority may have an understanding and appreciation that home education doesn't look like school at home. But unfortunately, you can come across individuals who don't understand that or appreciate that and truly believe that your child should be in school. Mm. And you do get that sort of pressure, unfortunately. Well, that, Joshua, I mean, you're bound to say, because your mum's sitting next to you, that you're probably <laughs> oh, brilliantly <laughs> taught. But do, do you, what do you think about the idea of, of inspections? Do you think that the state should have some responsibility for maintaining standards of your education at home? I understand why they're so worried about us. I mean, it's their, meant to be their job. I just like if they actually had some idea of what we're meant to be doing. I mean, half the time it's 
they come in, they have no clue other than that they used to work at school. So they're expecting us to be like that. Other times they've met home ed, they've had a friend who was home ed, and they'll be as nice as they can and understand. I just think that they should. Try, everyone should try. If you do have to be inspected, they should at least know what they're talking about. Mm. All right, we we'll have to leave it there. Thank you all very much. Tony, here's your phone back. Sorry. Yeah. Switch it off next time. <laughs> okay, thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, we thought that. Yeah, <laughs> thank okay. you. Okay. Uh, it's